Well, <laughs> do you really want to do it? <laughs> do you really um, want to do it? Oh, man. I don't know. I didn't know this is what was going down. You know, I didn't know this is how it was going to go down. Yeah. It does feel like a breakup. That's for sure. Yeah. I haven't had this feeling in a long ass time. I think this is why people get married, just so they never have to feel this again. <laughs> Do you want to? Uh, do you? Wanna, <laughs> I think Madge will get mad if we get married. You know what I mean? It's like we had to keep the podcast together. We got to yeah, do it. It's the only way. <laughs> Imagine how terrible a divorce must feel. I've only been through breakup, a divorce. I see why oh people God, go I crazy. Know. Yeah. Good Man. thing we didn't make any money off the podcast. We don't have to take half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we lost money on the podcast if you add it all up. <laughs> we did. We did. But it was fun. It was good. Well, I guess we should let the people know. We're just kind of talking. We're beating around the bush here. Well, welcome to another episode of of (laughs) Reviewing Reviews, which just so happened to be, and this feels weird to say, but the final episode of Reviewing Reviews. Yeah. You got to know when to fold them. Oh, no, wait. I messed it up. (laughs) Know when to hold them. No know when to walk when away. To away. Walk away. No when to run. <laughs> run I can't run. tell if this is the lag from Zoom or just our general <laughs> lack of musicianship. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, this is going to be the final, um, the final episode of reviewing reviews. Um, mm-hmm. There's, uh, I don't know. There's no words for it. There's words, but there's. There you know. better be words. This is a, sh- a podcast. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been, this will be uh, our 56th episode, I believe. Uh, This will be, uh, yeah, this will be episode five of season two, right? Oh, so 57th then? 50, I think so, yeah. I don't know the numbers of it. Was it 53? Yeah, 53, yeah. 54, 55, 56. So yeah, this will be 57th. No, 53, 54, 55, 56, you're right, 56. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a fun ride, but yeah. all good things must come to an end. I think the thing I'm most thankful for is we've become such great friends over the course of this podcast. We have, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that's my favorite, my favorite thing of it. Because mm-hmm. we were just kind of like just comedy buddies just hanging out at the clubs and stuff but yeah you know you have become one of my best friends and i love you you know love you too buddy and uh i mean we're not we're not stopping being friends <laughs> you know it's not we're not breaking up Mm-mm. um i'm still gonna bring reviews over to your house when this quarantine's <laughs> over and be like what do you think of this one <laughs> yeah we still gotta track down alan t he was one of our favorites we gotta hang out with him a couple of times I know. I think th- I think the thing of it is like, I mean, if you want to say some words too, but I I, th- I think this whole, the whole world being in quarantine and just reflecting on different things and it just um, I think you find what's more, what's most important in life, and uh, you know, it's not to say that. It's it's such a weird media that we're in right now because we can't see each other. You know what I mean? Like we can, but it's not like, you know, you're supposed to keep your distance, social distancing and all that stuff. And I mean, the whole thing, the whole live element of getting together and reviewing reviews and even with stand up too, you need that live energy. It's more about the camaraderie of that. And it's just, um, you know, it's such a weird place we're in, in everybody's life. Yeah. You know, you know I, th- I think I'm hearing a lot during this quarantine about how it's made you realize that we don't need to do so many things in person. A lot of people are saying that it's made you realize that a lot of what we used to do in person can be done online. And I completely disagree with that. I think what it's done for me is made me realize I took all those things for granted, how much I love feeling that live energy, like you said, and, and hugging a friend and, you know, shaking, shaking hands and, and uh, breathing in the same air, smelling you. You know what I yeah. mean? But 
it's, every week it's, for 52, 53 weeks of smelling you. Just <laughs> smelling you. Every day you'd come in, I'd just be like, hey, good to see you, buddy. You're like, could you <laughs> not sniff yeah. me like that? Um, and I was like, one day you're going to wish I was sniffing you like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you said every week. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but dude, yeah, it's a, it's a weird. It's a. I like being around people. I like getting together with you. That's not necessarily the whole reason why we're we're calling it a day with reviewing reviews. I think we've just had a good run, and mm-hmm. uh, and it's just time. That's that's what I feel. I was mentioning to you before we started the band with the last waltz, and they just mm-hmm. said they felt. Although I think they were on the road for like sixteen years or something, uh, but. <laughs> Similar analogy, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. We've been on the road for... <laughs> yeah. and We did one live show. <laughs> yeah. That live show we should mention was literally the day that everything went to hell in a handbasket with coronavirus. We were getting news updates yes. right before we started filming about yeah. how how the emergency was really kicking into the next gear. So that I'll always remember that for where it stood in in terms of history oh yeah for sure and not be like not to blow the smoke behind the mirrors or whatever that term is smoke behind the mirror whatever it is but like we only had t- two people in the audience because everyone was just scared and in panic i mean i think that's when lockdown actually like didn't it start that wednesday i think it was maybe a couple I think like we we recorded on the wednesday and it officially started the next day i believe <laughs> So, like, nobody even wanted to come out. And we, like you said, we were getting, like, updates of, like, this. And we were, like, in panic. And we're, like, you know, I know we're talking to Aaron. Aaron Maliner is the one that runs the bunker where we did the live show. And, yeah. you know, he was saying how he listened to um, Joe Rogan, the doctor on Joe Rogan, and was saying, like, you know, all this, <laughs> all this crazy shit. And we're just, like, hopefully people show up and we could do our show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? but also I hope it's they just... don't show up because I don't want to get coronavirus. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's I mean to take away from that also was that was such a fun night though, man. It was such a fun, you know, just being able to do that live with you was just you know it was just uh, and that's the whole thing was a live element. It was the it was the connection that we that we had and we were able to kind of demonstrate on stage. Yeah. Um, so we'll do um, it again in some other format and some other the same goodbye this is see you later yeah (laughs) 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 no i I mean i don't know the last time i cried i don't know you know the last time you cried i just got teary-eyed watching Chappelle's uh special the the mark twain thing yeah. When he was talking about his mom and stuff at the, you know, at the ver- it just the whole thing actually, mm-hmm. everything was just like him becoming like I, I, the whole thing just What's the quote that know. his mom said to him? Sometimes you got to pretend to be a lion to be the sheep you were all along or something like that. Sometimes uh, you got to be a lion to be the nah, I don't know. But as yeah. he, he said it, he's like, "Mom, you used to say to me." And as he said it, she was mouthing the words along with him and that I know. killed me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But even then, man, like touching people's lives like like he did, you know, um, was just I mean, even he started doing comedy at what, 17 and just crazy. I mean, everybody that he came in contact with. John Stewart was talking about that, where he's like, you were this young kid that all these veteran comics should have been like, who the fuck is this guy? But he just had a certain allure and, um, you know, presence about him that just drawn you to him. It was just a happy thing and uh Mm -hmm. you know i feel like that's been our strong suits is like we both have that characteristic where we connected together in that way you know we got to know each other um on just not you know on different levels uh which was which was nice like i was just telling you but when you we actually zoomed before this and talked about this (laughs) (laughs) and we were just you know um but like just the little the whole thing about reviewing reviews was yeah the reviews were like people talking about you know shitting gummy bears and whatnot but the nice <laughs> things about it was the stories in between and like that beautiful story you told me about your dad when you know when you were a kid and he found out um you know if it's had some magic where if he could like rub ear rub your ears to uh you know it just th- that shit 
it's in my fucking heart, you know? It's just like those stories are what blossom out of this. And I think that's the connections and stories that we had together. Um, even just, I mean, this is, this was an improv podcast. We didn't know what we were going to talk about. We just kind of yeah. went from the mind and the heart. And um, your dad swearing at the seagulls last week. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful stories. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? And, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, just that stuff. Uh, I don't know. That's what I love about it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, uh, yeah. I swear <laughs> to God, it, it feels so much like a breakup. I haven't had this feeling in so long. <laughs> but we're not, bre- it's not a, it's not a breakup per se. I mean, it, you have to, I don't know. It, it's, it's not like, it's a see you later. Cause who knows if we bring the podcast back or, um, you know, this might take us somewhere else. I mean, we've both grown so much from doing all that. You know, you've taught me so much shit out of this, man. Just being a comic in general and just kind of, um, I don't know, just your just your advice that you've given me. And I, I feel like I've grown more confident from doing this podcast as a performer. Nice. I think, you know, um, and just being around you, just having, you know, having a mentor like you uh, really... um. You know, a mentor. Let's not throw well, crazy I, words around well, here. Is it <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I you know, you inspire yeah. me though. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Is you inspire me? I guess you inspire me too, buddy. I'm, what I like is, and this is the reason when I you know wanted to start this podcast, I I asked you to to do it with me is because I knew I wanted to keep it positive, because you can get really these reviews can get really negative, but I never wanted the energy of the show to be negative, and that's what I really loved about hanging out with you every week is no matter what we were talking about, it was positive. And, uh, I, I really, uh, love your positive energy. So that'll take you far in life. Take it from your mentor. You keep that positive <laughs> energy going. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, well, that's no, what I mean. It's, been, it's, it's, it's more it's like, you know, we've learned a lot every, every week. And I, yeah. I agree with you that the reviews were good, but it was a connective tissue between you and I learning about each other and, and sharing details on a, in a totally improvisational way. It was fun. It yeah. was a good time. It was, uh, it was interesting to dive into the reviews of restaurants and products and realize there's really like, Maybe, I don't know the number. I'm going to say like five types of reviews. Like the more we did it, yeah. the more it was like <laughs> you started having like deja vu where you were like, I, have I not seen this one before? But makes you realize uh, humans are just a bunch of walking cliches roaming this earth. <laughs> Everyone thinks they're a snowflake. No way. Uh, no, it was, it was interesting looking at the reviews though because, well... I didn't know what, what this was going to be like when we got into it. So people don't know the behind the scenes, but sometimes it would take forever to find funny reviews. Yeah. <laughs> that was the enlightening thing where I was like, man, it's going to be a treasure trove of amazing reviews. It's like, nah, you had to put some work into it. Yeah, you can't just find it. Like, people would just be like, well, why don't you do the, the McDonald's on La Brea? And it's like, yeah, we could, but the reviews have to be there. So you'd spend an hour or two just looking through reviews, <laughs> just trying to find something good. But after a while, it just becomes, you know, oh, this fucking guy's complaining about this again, or it's the walking cliches, you know? Yeah. Um, I learned my way around know. all the review sites, so that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm still kicked off Yelp. <laughs> 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 I can't get back on. <laughs> oh, man. This podcast co- cost you a lot. I know. I can't review anything anymore. You know? You just Whatever. have to go. It doesn't matter. We don't need Yelp anymore. We don't leave the house. Yeah. Who needs it? We don't need you. What a crazy time. Yeah. This is just such a... We're going to remember this for the rest of our lives. Oh, yeah. This is a huge... I mean, I. it's... Cr- thank God, like, I mean, I'm cool. My family's cool. Everyone that I know is pretty much, you know, not pretty much, but they're all healthy, you know, which is great. But, like, God forbid, like... God bless the people that are going through like this stuff. That's this heavy shit, man. That's why I like, I mean, ending the podcast 
isn't really putting like a state like a what's the cliche term? I, I can't look at any reviews, but like you're not putting a nail in the coffin of this podcast. It's more of just like all of our listeners. We appreciate everything you've done and, you know, listening to us every week and chiming in. But like you really need to focus on stuff that's important to you and not that this isn't important. You're important to me. You're one of my best friends. But, you know, it's more of focusing on, I mean, getting through all this stuff, you know, and uh, find out what's important in your life and just focus on that whether it's mm-hmm. family or friends or even something that you're passionate about, like just take away from that where you have to just reflect on yourself, reflect on everything in your life and just get through this shit. Cause it's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. And uh, whether people are saying it's a conspiracy and this is that and this, whatever you believe, I mean, just believe and follow that, you know? What's the weirdest conspiracy theory you've heard? Oh, man. Um, there was one saying that, well, the 5G network thing that we got this yeah. from the cell phone towers. Yeah. That was a weird one, you know? Yeah. Like, I know that's not good for you, but there, how the fuck is a cell phone tower going to give you a, the fucking flu? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, how does that work? The thing about conspiracy theories is, like, yeah, they all sound weird, but it's a weird world, too. So, truth is often stranger than fiction. I don't buy into most conspiracy theories, but I also don't write people off right away for having a crazy idea. Because coronavirus is crazy. The whole world is in a global lockdown right now. So, there's weird things happening. I don't know what they are, but people are making money off this. I'm not saying mm-hmm. they created the virus to make money, but there's there's always some weird stuff going down in, in these crazy times. People are profiting, uh, governments are mobilizing, and totalitarian governments are taking advantage. And So I don't know what conspiracy theories there are and, and what I believe, but I, I definitely don't believe this is like a made-up thing. Everything you see about the front lines and the hospitals, anybody who thinks this is a conspiracy that isn't actually rooted in reality that i can't agree with like people are there's no way the whole world is making the hospitals look like war zones i know exactly yeah which maybe the maybe the numbers are exaggerated if anything like oh my god thirty thousand deaths today in the world or whatever but like there's still deaths happening there's still bad shit happening yeah you know you can't get like you just said you can't get around like you can't have every hospital in the world put on a show. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? All yeah. right, guys, on uh, Saturday, we're all going to put the blood everywhere. No, that's not going to happen that way. Yeah. You know? You wear a Halloween mask, so it seems like we don't have enough masks, okay? Yeah. Have you seen they're doing that? No. Like, I because doctors don't have enough, like, N95 masks, they're like, some of them are, a lot of them are wearing ski goggles. Some of them are wearing, like, welder's masks, Halloween masks, anything just to cover their face. No shit. Could you imagine getting treated by a doctor, like, waking up out of your anesthetic or whatever, and it's just a guy with a big horse's head, like a BoJack horseman looking down at you? (laughs) You wake up and it's Mike Myers. You're like, what the fuck is happening? You know? (laughs) You're going to live. Like, uh, yeah. you sure? (laughs) You're like, nice Donald Trump mask. It's like, no, no, I am Donald Trump. (laughs) Oh, shit. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Jesus, what is happening? <laughs> oh, man. Well, should we talk about our favorite review of all time? Do you have one? I was going to say, what, what was your favorite memory of this uh, episode right now? <laughs> what, what are you going to give this episode? <laughs> I give it four and a half Donald Trump masks. <laughs> uh, my favorite memory of this episode? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I was just making a joke. What was your favorite favorite. review of all time, you said? Yeah, I don't... I can't think... For some reason, Alan T. is the only guy that sticks out in my head, even though by the end of our last episode about him, I was like, I don't even know if I like his reviews anymore. He stuck with me. Look at that reflection we had during that, you know? That was a reflection of, like, we thought that guy was a genius, which he's still... I mean, he's still a good writer, creative writer, but... At the same time, we were like six months. What was actually like nine months later? We were just like, 
what's up with this guy? Same thing. Mm-hmm. He's re- you know, we were kind of getting that way a little bit ago. Maybe that's why we're ending this. Maybe we were afraid we were turning into Alan T. Oh shit! <laughs> right? You best believe. I don't know what his. I don't know what his lines were. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Alan T was the only one that kind of stuck out. Because we did oh, a whole episode on You know what sticks him. out is Canada's Wonderland, the woman who wrote a review who had, was only driving by. Oh, that one too. Yeah, yeah. The fall colors while we drove by. It's like, you can't leave a review. You didn't even go in the place. Or yeah. the, way back, the gothic people at uh, Disneyland. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love My mind always people. goes jack in the box with the guy that's like, the sourdough jack was kind of buttery, but I got stabbed out here. I always remember that one, too. Yeah. The casual, flippant, I got stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a turn. What a turn. What about, um, wasn't there a gym where, like, people were having sex in the bathroom or something? Uh, oh, the the disco one? It was the 80s disco gym? Yeah, like an eight, that gay one? 80s disco. Crunch yeah. Fitness in <laughs> West yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> they oh. were having sex. Was Were they having sex in there? Something like that. The bathrooms, the showers didn't work, and there were like mounds of body hair and stuff. I don't, I don't, rem- I don't remember. It all blends together. That's a thing too. We do what, like eight reviews an episode. In so the we did. Like I think we did a hundred and twenty <laughs> reviews an episode. <laughs> so many. Oh man. <laughs> That's yeah. Great. What's another one? The bidet a day for sure which is insane now because i should have bought it when you told me to buy it now they're like flux like the prices fluctuate fluctuated up flex increased i mean yeah fluctuated up <laughs> you could say you could just wait went up uh they're like a 100 bucks now for a bidet you wow know? last time i checked like two weeks ago or something yeah they're and they're what 25 hours we seen the lux bidet yeah I told my dad, he was like, we're all stocked up on toilet paper. He's like, just get a bidet. And the reaction from my dad was like, I told him he should like, you know, have a gender reassignment surgery or something. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, no, 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 dude. No, 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 no. I was like, just a bidet, dad. You're fine. Not up, not up my butt. No water up my butt. I'll tell you that much, DJ. Yeah. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I realized there's still a stigma around bidets when I talk to my dad. Yeah. I'm going to change that. When we come out of this quarantine, <laughs> I'm going to become a motivational speaker. I'm going to work for Lux. It's time yeah. for the world to know. North America. The rest of the world knows. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. tour, touring with that. Touring with the Lux. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't forget the strip club in Houston. Oh, yeah. The guy was, who was, was there for 11 hours or however long. Oh, my God. <laughs> he had three meals. <laughs> <laughs> He Killer. never left. That's Killer. so funny. Maybe, or the girl who's like, maybe I'm too hot for them. Yeah. We shouldn't end the, We shouldn't just end the podcast. We should just keep going. Look at all these good reviews, huh? <laughs> well, they can go back and listen to them. <laughs> touche, touche. We're not, we're not going to take them down. They'll be there. Yeah, they'll be there. Well. Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> DJ, DJ, DJ. <laughs> Marcia, you know, Marcia, it's Marcia. it's not. I gotta, you know, I gotta be honest because I I was thinking, you know, I I feel the same. I kind of felt the same way where like I hated, not hated, but like it was more of like looking for reviews was such a tedious act. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where it's um. I don't know. It's, it's it's a lot of time consuming, and I know in I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. But you did it because you knew the episode was going to be fun, and we were going to have a good time hanging out. Uh, yeah, I mean that's what I always I always did it just because we were going to hang out. That's pretty much why. That's what yeah. I look for. Every Monday we hung out, recorded, and that was it. And uh, you know whether the content is reviews or the content is something else, who knows? We could do something. We could have something else cooking uh, creatively, you know, between me and you, which, you know, is a strong possibility because, you know, I think we should 
keep doing something or even bring this back or who knows, you know, I think once all this settles down and we're all back to normal, um, you know, is anybody even listening to podcasts anymore? <laughs> Does, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the world right now. I don't know what people are doing. Yeah. I know my life is completely different than it was a month ago. I'm yeah. I never played video games before. Now I'm like, a, I might start a Twitch account. I might become a professional <laughs> gamer. <laughs> it's That's crazy. so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we play call. We play Call of Duty every night just for a couple hours. But it's nice. I mean, that's. The, but you know what it is? It's a connection. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. It's me and my two other but my one buddy in Jersey and my buddy Paul. It's just murdering we play that. enemies together. Yeah. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. my buddy Michael texts me and be like, "I got the hanker in the kill. You guys down?" <laughs> <laughs> and we just hop on. You know, we'll be like, "Yeah, I'll hop on at eight o'clock or hop on at seven, whatever." And mm-hmm. it's a nice thing because we're just—it's like we're hanging out. You know, it's just that's what people need right now is connections. And um, your buddy Michael better hope he never gets tried for murder. And that text is going to be hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant the video game. Oh, yeah, well, sure, somebody's buddy. somebody's in the back of a car, all right? What's going on here? The Sacramento County Jail. Oh, we did do that. Yeah, where the floor smelled or felt like urine and semen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which is what my floor smells like now. I haven't been out in a while. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not, guys. I clean. I clean. I clean up. Mm-hmm. Clean up well. That you do. Well, what do you think, Mike? I think it's a good... Um, it's kind of like, well, we just talked about Chappelle. And uh, I feel like it, this is me and you going to Africa right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Together. it is. I think it's... Yeah. I think me and you kind of cutting the cord, but keeping the cord there. You know? Um mm-hmm. Because who knows where we'll be, you know? We don't know how long this thing's going to last, you yeah. know? Um, And it's a weird time we're in. And uh, it's like we talked about before, like, you got to find your passions and uh, you got to focus on what's important. And you have to, I mean, you got to come out of this. If you take the anything from this podcast, whether it's, you know, the reviews that are funny or me and DJ or whatever, I mean, it's more about just finding a passion and a focus in your life. And... uh just and care about you know tell people you love them and care about the people that um i don't know all that stuff you know what i mean all that emotional stuff that we're all going through right now um just find what's important in your life and follow your heart you know follow your heart follow your heart and do i mean and also like follow your instinct too um you know, if you feel that if you feel something is kind of off, call it out, you know, and uh, I don't know. That's what I got. I love you, buddy. I love you, too, brother. It's been a good run. Yeah. You know, people have laughed. We've gotten lots of nice compliments and reviews and everything. We've gotten closer. Nothing but positive things that have come out of this. Exactly. It's not like we're ending, we're like, oh, this is fucking bullshit, you know, whatever. It's just like, it's more of like we're just putting a pause on it, if anything, and who knows if we'll come back. You yeah. Know? But. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Let me do a digital shake. <laughs> I don't actually want to give a four and a half Donald Trump mask, because I don't want his name to be the one that, you know, the final rating I give, so... Um, I'm going to give it the overall experience of reviewing reviews. I'm going to give, uh, five mafia teddy bears. Wow. There you go. I love it. I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give all of reviewing reviews. I'm going to give it five best friends. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds like your favorite sitcom. (laughs) <laughs> which is coming to Netflix this fall. Uh, <laughs> no one told you life was going to be this way. Da, 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 da. Yo, you know what's crazy? Not to talk about myself for a second, but I did this. I put this joke on um on Instagram. Uh, I actually did like that tweet 
I put I, I put a tweet out and then I copied and screenshotted. I did that I thing. It was the first time it, I did and, it. And I saw you see all the engagement you were getting on that. It was funny. Dude, I got like I got like 500 likes from that post. Wow. That's the that's the most I've ever gotten on anything. You don't but need you, review and reviews anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing review and reviews back, baby. But you know what's insane is it's obviously a joke. It's a joke. People were commenting and DMing me and stuff saying, you know, because I put five claps on the thing. They're like, you know, it's four claps. Why would you? It's You know, it's four claps. Why would you put five? You know, it's four. And I'm like, it's, I don't, it's joke? a joke. Tell everybody what it was. Um, the joke was, uh, they just, uh, oh, fuck, I don't even know what the joke was. Um, <laughs> I forget what I wrote. Uh, oh, it is just four <sighs> claps. It is. Why did yeah. You do it that, is just, Mike? I don't know why I did it. Let me see here. Did you hear here five claps in your head? Well, I thought of, um, I'm like on the spot right now. I thought like, do, 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 do. I thought that was it right there. This was my joke. Here we go. I want to read it word for word. The Friends reunion TV special has now been postponed because of the coronavirus. I guess nobody really told us life was going to be this way. Da, 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 da. And I put the claps down there. Um, but what also someone called out too was, I guess nobody really told us. Someone's like, you know, it's no one and not nobody. <laughs> I'm like, there's some diehard fucking Friends fans up in this place. Get a life. <laughs> Bunch of Ross <laughs> Gellers walking around out there. I know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Crazy. Everybody needs to be a bit more Phoebe. Yeah. I didn't uh, watch Friends that much. So I don't know if my references are completely accurate here, but I didn't either. Phoebe I think that's why people chill. were Phoebe was chill. I didn't watch it that chill. much either, so I think really? that's why people were kind of Yeah, that's why I think people were attacking my fucking joke. <laughs> they knew you weren't a a real day one friend guy. They're like, what did Rachel do in episode three of season two? I'm like, I have fucking no idea. It's, I'm trying to get on, you know, I'm trying to write monologues over here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, Mike, DJ. not just Mike, all you beautiful listeners, thank you so much for listening and watching 56 episodes of Reviewing Reviews. Go back and listen to them. Remember the good time. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of good times. I don't know what to say. I don't know what. <laughs> what do you yeah. say in this situation? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just do it. Tell. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, leave us a five star rating. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um. You know what? Actually, you know what? Here we go, guys. Uh, leave us a five star. Tell all your friends about it. Leave a ton of comments, and blow it the fuck up. And um. When we come back, if we come back to it, uh, we have all the support of you fine people. And mm -hmm. um, we realize, you know, holy shit, people really did care. Yeah, you let's know? make it like um, Searching for Sugar Man. You ever seen that movie? No. It's about a great musician, Rodriguez. Uh, but he didn't blow up until like 30 years after he originally released the music in like the 70s. But he, he oh didn't know his music was really popular in, like, South America and maybe Africa. But he was just, like, working as a factory worker in Detroit all those years. And then all of a sudden, he started touring the world again when he realized how popular he had been. So maybe wow. when you and I are, like, 60 years old, we'll realize that people <laughs> in, you know, in the middle of nowhere have been listening to reviewing reviews all this time. We'll just be hanging out at a club. And then Alan T. walks up and he's like, you guys were the ones that made me. <laughs> have you looked at your numbers lately? And we're like, no, we haven't. And then it's like skyrocketing. And we have South America taking over, you know. Mm -hmm. Australia, we had a lot of listeners in Australia too, bro. And uh, the UK. And the UK. That happened um, a lot. People often, musicians often blow up in the UK and Australia and then they... Kings of Leon, they were way bigger in Europe, and even though they were from America, and then they had to get big in America. No way. Mm hmm. So who knows? Wow. Maybe that's the trajectory we're on. We'll see. Yeah. If we get 10,000 reviews, we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be insane. That'd be All cool. All right, though. buddy. 
All right, man. I it's love you. It's been a blast. I love you too. It's been Let's fun. say goodbye on the podcast and then we can keep talking on here if you want. Yeah. So <laughs> don't hang up. Don't hang up yet. Don't don't hang up. <laughs> um but thank you guys for listening, like DJ said. Thank you guys for uh listening to us every week and uh we love every one of you for letting us do this, you know, giving us yeah. a platform. Thanks, guys, so. to everybody who's ever listened and shared and reviewed and sent us a message. We appreciate you greatly. Take care of yourself during these crazy times and be good to yourself. It's a weird time. So if you want to lay around and do nothing and just treat yourself, that's fine, too. Take a deep breath. It's a beautiful life. Enjoy it. That was very well said. I don't have no, I have nothing for that. That was beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. See you, guys. You know? This is the final right. episode for now. Of reviewing reviews. I'm DJ Demers. I'm Mike Perkins. Catch you on the flip side. Peace. Review.